Welcome to Critscast. Uh, my name is Lampshade22, and uh, somewhere uh, in between a creaking chair is, is Mr. Fear. Hello. We get we are going live. Love to see it. Let's it's, uh, it. It's snake water for anyone who hadn't noticed just. Um, so the two teams are rolling out as we speak. Get on someone's cam, Mr. Fish, and tell I me what you see. I am going to watch Hipster on this rollout. He's going lower. Insightful. You're nothing else for me. No. <laughs> not much has happened. No, not really. The two teams He's are, getting um, some good damage down. They're facing off. They're getting some damage in. We see a nice little bomb oh, out of Ravage. Huge Ravid. bomb. I think that's Moblo. Yeah, Moblo going in for a nice big bomb. Picking up the medic with... Which is uh, is pretty effective, but they have lost three for it. Now there's a massive sack wave coming in for a minute. A huge collapse, yeah. Yeah, absolutely meme. The May does go down though, so that's gonna be yeah. even nervous. So it's just Adam and Jane Doe coming back into the mid here. Jane Doe doing everything they can, trying to hit some damage, and they're all actually rather low. Like if Adam, uh, they decide to opt out. So there you go. The first mid fight going the way of uh, of Gush's goon. And now we now we have a stalemate with Eben and so I'm kind of hoping that this round time it comes into play here, and we maybe see teams push earlier and play less for a pick and maybe just try something as a team. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, I I, I really have been detesting the uh, the stalemate uh, over the last like little while. It seems to be especially yikesy. Um, so I'm hoping this will reduce. We can only the, uh, the the win limit of five might speed things up a little as well because like once you start losing rounds like you really have to make things happen or you're just cooked yeah like... oh they're getting really aggressive in saw here the combo is peaking really close they've got uber now oh sod has gone really fucking good that's i don't know who that is batman versus t-rex <laughs> oh both soldiers stacking here we do see an uber trade over at saw as well both teams using the uber in the middle of that one it's actually looking a lot better for fever kids um they picked it's... up a few players as well but there's still that soldier behind them oh, yeah. that they're looking for they've cleaned him up they do clean him up that's a 21 second spawn timer on that soldier as well now they could maybe do something here looks like they opt not to maybe they'll just send a sack I mean, they've only got three and a half minutes left to, to do something. Mm. It does look like they're using that player ad now oh, yeah, as they come straight it. on through into the mid. Taking that high ground, that's what we want to see. A little bit of textbook Team Fortress. Ravo taking quite a bit of damage, managing to get away by the skin of his team. Collecting that buff. There's not really a lot going on otherwise. Ravo gets owned yet again and finally goes down. Mobloke as well, that's no soldiers for the side of Feverkins. Yeah, Fever Kid's and definitely on the back foot now. They're still trying to fight this, they're still staying in. They've done it. Oh, so many players are low on the red team right now. They've done tons of damage, so they're still staying in fighting this. And it looks like now they will have to just give it up after they get no frags. That's a it's shame. That is so much damage just then. Like three players with like sub 50 health. They just couldn't convert. Yeah, I was about to say, it looks like they can they can get like a lot of damage in, in a pretty mm. short space of time, but it, uh, it doesn't really work out because they aren't able to convert it. But now with only. Bit under three minutes left. Big old soldier bomb under remorse though. Does end up going down. Two soldiers down. Doesn't get again. the force as well. This is pretty good. This is That's pretty good. Some fast paced there too, you love to say it. Well it has to be. They've only got two minutes and twenty seconds oh, left to cap to a point. And we're gonna see the Uber trade, trade on the point. Maybe slowing down that two minutes and twenty. It's fairly even uber trade, it looks a little bit Maybe better. Maybe it's really, really aggressive here. Will she get cut out? No, she doesn't, but uh, they do pick up the scout. And the soldier. That's gonna be... I believe that's Gush's goons? Yeah, Gush's goons on the, uh, on the back foot. Oh, okay. I'm trying to predict your brain. It's tragic. Absolutely tragic, trying to predict your brain. <laughs> but yeah. We do see uh, Fever Kids, they're able to push into second. They've uh, they reduced that, sorry, increased the round timer back up to five minutes. Uh, again, so they've got a full five minutes to sort of play with as they push into last year. Tiny, tiny add to the side of uh, Gush's good. But it's not looking too good for, for really either side. So I think this will be one of these short stalemates. 
And I'll be honest, I haven't watched a whole lot of this cup so far, but based on what I've, the little I've seen, I really do like this round timer. It seems like it does make the game a lot more palpable. Oh yeah, for sure. It, uh, it's far more tight. And I mean, there, there is a sniper up on the uh, defending team. Just trying to hit that shot, but um, it's gonna, like they can't afford to sit there doing that for two. Although I suppose that does just reset it to a mid fight for them, so it's not like the worst case. Surely though, they're not going to see uh, Gush's goods let that happen. No, surely. I, like, we'll I see a la some expect. last ditch kind of attempt. Yeah. Is that a sniper on both teams now? It is, yeah. But I suppose four minutes left before they have to, you know, redo the mid fight. There's a bit of fighting going on down in that lower area. Soldier taking quite a bit of damage. So does Ravu. Black Cat and Ravu both <laughs> taking quite a lot. They've both managed to get out with their lives. His alias is uh, doing the head in the time, it? Yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, mate just went down. Yeah, Moblo able to get Huge in, bot. get the drop. That's actually disgusting. That's they, it's 3v3 though. But a ton of frags have just been traded for both teams. We do still see Remorse up with 100% Uber though. Yeah. I mean, that's going to give them the entry they need. They do still have that sniper as well. Both teams still have the sniper. So they might be able to give them a pick before they go in as well. But I think Adam might be going back to swap off. I think they're holding the door for him. So that could give them what they need to uh, to just sort of get more aggressive. But there is still the sniper on... Uh, on Gush's goons there. Mm. You're right, Adam hasn't been swapped off. So we've got 100% Uber ad now for, well not 100% ad, but like, it's gonna be about 68 by the time they push. Very sizable. I'm curious to see how they take this. Oh, they're already through Shutter. They've used him. Straight yeah, this Hipster straight on the sentry. The heavy's up, they're focusing him down. Oh, the Hipster goes down. This is a disastrous Uber. <laughs> Yeah, it was looking so good, they cleaned up the sentry, they had quite a bit of ground, but they didn't convert it to any frags, mm. and they've just wiped as they push in. I think that heavy as well came out of spawn at just the right time. The uber had faded, they didn't focus heavy enough, they'd used all the ammo from the sentries and just shooting other players, and the heavy was able to just mop up. That was, yeah. And now we see Maid, 100% uber. Mobloak though, very keen on the pick yet again, uh, this time on spot. So we'll have to see if they're able to do it. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. They've got their beady little eyes. Did he cloak in? Oh. Mate doesn't know. Oh, oh he's uh, been spotted. Been spotted. Okay. A valiant attempt. You've got to respect it. But now it's two yeah. down with massive Uber disad for Fever Kids. Not looking good. Yeah, they threw two pick classes at it as well because I think Adam stayed on mm. Sniper there. So and Adam, Adam only just spawning now, trying to get that sentry gun. Uh, yeah, it's now still a huge dick. I mean, Jando picks up a pick for the push, but this is still going to be difficult to hold off. It's looking good so far as the Uber comes through the lower there. They do uh, manage to blow up one of those bombs a little bit, force them up into the air. The point is so, so capped though. They do finally get their Uber out, made down on 10 health, fleeing. Flee for their lot. Um, but there is still that soldier yeah. on last. He's very, very low. He does go down. Adam there to pick him. So, so. still aligning there for uh, silver lining for Gush's goons. Maid does get out, so it's not going to be huge disad. It's basically going to be even, I think. But yeah, that's unfortunate. They're going to be a bit annoyed that they didn't convert that. Yeah, it looked like a soldier tried to go straight on through lower and uh, try to convert it anyway. Did end up going down. That's for uh, for Gush's goons. And that's probably going to give them the entry they want, despite the 30 disad? Yeah, this has actually... I don't think, yeah, Fever Kids haven't been grinding at all. This was like 10%, and now it's nearly 40. This is kind of crazy. It's definitely enough to use. Um, uh, they Fever Kids don't realise this, though. They haven't been grinding at all. I don't know if we'll see Gush's Goons push off this. They probably think it's even. Yeah, but they picked up two frags now. Ravu 4 and Adam both oh, down, and three, they pick yeah. up no block. That's going to give them everything they need to push straight on into two. Absolutely free. I think we'll see a stalemate, though, because it should equalize. You might see a sack, possibly. I mean, they'd be silly if they didn't. They know they've got a nice long spot Mobile on Mobile. Oh, they Mobile. send the oh, soldiers, soldiers through. It's a double sack. They are seemingly not going to get anything, though. A good hold from Remorse. That, that was actually very close. Both those soldiers were straight onto Remorse, man. It was, yeah. 
They're a bit disjointed. I think the one died and the other went in. Be a good hold for him, was I think the hold that. And they've been able to convert that into yeah. quite a bit of aggression on the grass oh, here. The Uber does get used on the point. Both teams using their Uber as we go. There is a pickup in the middle of the Uber. One of the scouts managing to get aggressive enough to pick up a. To pick up Brownie as well. The soldier in the backside though causing a bit of problems. Picking up Jane Dark. The demo down's a bit tragic, but I suppose it's uh, both demos are down. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's not uber bad, and they're probably going to pick up this soldier as well. Yeah, surely they're going to push out. I wonder if they're just going to walk and just try to drive push mid. The spawns aren't that high up, and they do lose Rabu. This is not looking incredible right now. Moblock goes down as well. <laughs> oh, gee. But they managed to just then... forward a scout across well, straight okay. through the entire team pickup map. Remorse gonna have to bail out of this one though, getting very, very low. Does end up oh, going to trade. Oh, I, I wouldn't be too happy about that if I was mad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been on the receiving end of that because, you know, sometimes your team just uh, decides not to shoot nah, things, don't they? Nah, 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 I don't think you have, mate. I don't think you have. Anyway, I feel so. like um, it's happened. Well, they're fighting there. Well, they've got the huge heal at. Uh, they're able mm. to get some aggression in, but not enough to actually make anything happen yeah. after they lose and the they soldier. Definitely, they definitely back up at the right time with remorse sporting oh. and a soldier going down. Another stalemate, it looks like. Yeah, it could have been absolutely awful for them. Looks like all the blue team, though, they're sort of congregating on the, the low ground, on the grass. They're trying to go for something. These soldiers are not healthy. <laughs> These soldiers are really not healthy. Wow, they got a... They get obliterated. And that's two picks. Keep fighting them, yeah. Yeah, I don't really know what the soldiers were doing. They really had no position there. They probably should have just got out as soon as they possibly could. Yeah, but now with both those soldiers down, it looks like they're going to have to wait for the Uber, which is going to give them enough time to spawn back up as mm. well. I wonder so, if we're going to see sniper off classes again, or maybe something different. Well, I mean, there's already a sniper on Gush's goons. They've got that sniper back up already. Um, just pay trying to find something. So we'll have to see if uh, maybe maybe mm. Adam will go for a sack or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe once they spot this can. Because last time he dropped a nade and he tries to go for something, but gets sniped, unfortunately. The the sniper with a nice sniper, wide oh. peak. Oof. I got really excited. I wonder if we're going to see Moblock maybe hold the door open for someone, or maybe just off class. I don't know, they picked up that sniper so they might actually just try to do it. Uh, it looks like Moblock is holding the door open, and I think, I assume Adam is running back? Oh, no, he's not. No, no one's running back, Moblock no, is just okay. deciding. He's just out. Oh, he's on sniping now, Moblock is sniping, okay, cool. Yeah. Deciding if they were going to, to do that one, I guess, like, taking into account the, the time limit, but then they pick up a frag as well, which sort of <laughs> invalidates the choice a little as they start grinding the damage yeah. on the left-hand side. I wonder if even though they have a sniper, they'll go for a sack off that. It looks like they're not, and they're just going to try to prod. Maybe not a sack, but I think trying to force some damage in is not mm. a bad idea. They've got Mobile that sniper looks... up in the drop there. Yeah, he got aggressive, aggressive there. Ooh, down to 50. And they lose Adam, Adam as well. Down. Oh, they actually get forced as we Ooh, speak. Ooh, that is not good at all. Their Double health is so pipes. low. Oh, my boy. <laughs> Never mind. What an unreal snipe. That is actually busted, man. Oh, I just, they, they knew the sniper was there. Like, I, I don't know why they're that... I don't know why they're crossing that side line. Yeah, like, the sniper I mean, took a shot two seconds before then. I just don't understand. They, they must have thought that they'd pushed him out yeah. uh, out of the lobby area there. Just so much aggression, too much That's to stand. <laughs> yeah, I'd be tilted as hell. Like... Yep. I don't know. I don't know. This is, like, very back and forth. Like, we've already gone through mm. 15 minutes of the timer, like, the map time. Oh, um, yet to see him get around. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, this, it's 50%-ish ad, 40% ad for remorse. And they are well aware. They're taking this through, uh, Saw. Getting a lot of spam, though. Damage. Quite a bit of ground. We see a soldier go Soon for a bit of a sack. Soon the scout's gonna be looking at the Uber. Oh, they are? 
So they move in the lobby, taking it to last. Oh, the super's not great though. And they get yeah. Uber on the side of May. This is, yeah, they're gonna just bail, bail out completely now. I think Remorse is probably safe here. Yeah, oh, Remorse is gonna live here. However, that really soldier coming though. through the, the lower, I don't think they've spotted him. The scout gets so much damage on a Remorse, manages to pick him up as well. And uh, it's just all fallen apart for uh, the Fever Kid. They do this... have Adam in behind, though. I don't know if he's been spotted. He's getting straight towards that last point. Can... Dude, Adam's on the point. Oh. He's... Oh. <laughs> that was looking so, so good for uh, Gush's Goons, briefly, and then it just completely crumbled in about five seconds, and they lost almost their whole team to, like, two players. That was... That was something. Yeah. Dude, Adam was able to pick up both of those soldiers because neither of them had a lot of health. And I mean, it's soldier fighting us out. It's mm. it's a tragic story. Every Yuki time. as well. Yuki and Ravu, I think, collectively got four or three kills together without a medic on the side. Like no heals. Like that was really impressive. Yeah, totally blind. So why don't you tell me about this mid, James? Go on. Ah, uh, the dude man are just you know shooting stickies. Yeah, they're still, they're still shooting stickies. Yeah, James, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Very good, uh, tell me more. Well, it's looking like uh, Hipster shot better stickies than uh, than uh, the demo for uh, Gush's Goons, which would indeed be half. And uh, they're getting owned now. Mate has 100% over though. I assume they're going to get a force out of this. They'd be silly not to sack at least two or three players. But they might just go for the last point. They'll stick it off the spawns out. I mean, this has to be the easiest last point for them. Oh, uh, I, don't know. I mean, they're Mate is out on that left-hand side. They're doing everything they can to they try to defend the, the Uber's coming. Both teams have used. And now the players are going down on the side of Fever Kids. Perhaps too aggressive, not they're quite really there enough. They really overstayed their welcome there. They really did. They've now lost four players in that Adam and Ravu. Uh, I believe Spawn is both of them. Or maybe Adam was with Remorse the entire time, so. Mm. <laughs> I feel like they just sort of forgot that Maid had Uber and didn't die. I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Mm. Either way. Stay on, mate. I'm trying to get into the mind of a dog here. That's God's, that's God's job. Um, Gush's goons, we're gonna fight mid though. May goes down really low. Oh, even lower. Yeah, Rabu very, pack. very keen on that one. Um, mm -hmm. does end up going down. I don't think it's gonna cause the push though, because the, the health on Gush's goons is not super fantastic. Mm. I think May just went down to like 30 or 40, and then, like, due to Rabu's sack, then got the pack. And then went down to 30 again. And I didn't see what caused that, but I feel like that might have been the reason. Because there was no pack, she just took it. So, either way, 100% over for both teams now. I assume we're going to see Gush's Goons make some, or Fever Kids, sorry, make some kind of a play here. They're getting really aggressive. Oh. My bloke goes down, unfortunately. I didn't see that. Was that a sack? Yeah, it was a sack. He hit oh, he got a the force. nice old mid to get the force out of made. Oh. Made down on, I think, maybe single digit health when. Uh, when they had the I mean, just then when I tapped over, she was like 60, so she must have been low. Yeah, she was very, very low. Um, so, good force there, and that's going to yeah. be enough to sort of maybe convert this into another round. We do see the soldier going behind, a bit of a flub bomb maybe, didn't really land on anything super important. But the other soldier comes in, hits a nice big rocket, but Remorse just holding just hold him. Oh, you can't, you can't lose both your soldiers and not get a force. That's like, uh... I so mean, awful. especially when it's you're holding well. last. It's yeah. a bit tragic. Kind of just... They're ready to use Uber There's no way to the lower partners at all now. Like, you're just done. Yeah, it's looking a bit tragic. They picked up quite a few of the players on, uh, on Gush's that Goons, be... and that's going to be that. That's two, two rounds, rounds for Fever Kids. And those two rounds, like, that second one was five minutes? A bit mm. less. Three I'm gonna minutes, watch. Uh, I'm gonna watch Hef on this bit and see what he does. I assume he'll shoot stickies, but maybe he'll do something else as well. He could be a beast. He might run across the map and uh, absolutely. He does miss on the surf. Idea. But not not a good start. But they were still getting there at about the same time though. There's a soldier behind uh, pretty quickly, and I don't think they've been seen at all. Mobloke in with a nice big bomb. 
Ooh. does quite a bit of damage to the demo man, just enough to get the damage from the rest of his team to clean up. The soldier comes through from behind now, Remorse hauling that one desperately. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's that a lot. That was clinical. It's just extremely then. clinical. That soldier, so Mobile bombed over the top of mid, and both the scouts on the side of Gush's goons just stared at the soldier, and Yuki just walks sword at half and just two shots him because no one else is looking at him because they're all hitting the soldier. That was a really good play from, uh, from Fever Kids. I mean, the Fever Kids, I mean, they've they've got the, uh, the, the Yugster on it, right? Oh, yeah. You can, you can imagine the, the, the team Yugster. player. It's basically, uh, what do you call it? Telepathic. Well, I've used the glass, so the heavy is going to get focus down straight away. And I assume this is going to be a done round. Another quickie Quite a bit of teams. time on the point. Oh, yeah. We've cleaned there up we most of the players. Yeah. That's three rounds. So they're speeding up a little. It looks like Fever Kids have the momentum now. I'm going to watch Hef again and see if anything changes this mid. Hopefully he doesn't just get uh, aggroed by a scout and die straight away. That would be unfortunate. That really would be unfortunate. Mm. Just a shame. It's just a real pit. Real pit. <laughs> Off to a similarly slow start, so... Mobloke looking like they want to go for a nice big bomb, however oh, the soldier comes through on the pressure. other side directly on a remorse. Jane Doe going down. So it's done looking... a ton of damage this mid. He's gotten really aggressive. Yeah, it's looking pretty good for a uh, Gush's goons here. Mobloke tries to salvage something but couldn't get anything. Both of us just survived though, looks like we're gonna see a stalemate. We love a stalemate, it's uh, not TF2 without it. But they, they've actually got enough players to really push this. I mean, there's only two scouts up. If they can get some damage in, it'll be pretty good for them. They haven't really gotten it so far. The Ubers do get used by both teams. It's looking a little bit better for Gush's goons here. They've got a slightly longer Uber, but they haven't really got a lot of ground to speak for. But the scout pushing them pretty much straight back out the rest of the team there to back him up. It's, uh, it's looking pretty tragic. <laughs> They've lost Ravu. They're going to have to lose this ground that they just gained as well. The health isn't looking super great for Gush's Guns, but they're able to push them out without really losing anyone else. Um, so they're able to pick up that sec. Pretty pretty clinical. Yeah, it was a pretty drawn out fight. But the, oh, I think we're seeing Hep is getting really aggressive. He's speaking to last. We're seeing, oh, the whole thing, they're already in. They're pushing last. They're going to do this. So much damage. Oh, and so many players down so quickly. That is. Well, that's probably exactly what Gush's Goons needed. A really quick, decisive, like, dominant push. That'll get the confidence up, and hopefully we have a, a closer game. Yeah, it's going to bring the momentum back around. Mm. However, I mean, being a, a win limit of five, it's uh, it's a bit more difficult to, like, turn things around a little. Yeah, seven minutes think... as well on the clock. So it's, it's not it's not that, like, three, four minute territory yet. It's not no time have to push, but it's getting there. They're going to be feeling the pump in a second. Oh, they're definitely getting their bump on. Mobloke with a speed bomb straight into Saw. Doesn't really land on anything yet again. Um, the rest of the team pushing very, very aggro for Gush's goons. They've actually lost two, though. Um, and Mobloke is still behind them. I wonder if they... Oh, it looked like they were about to go Saw, I was going to say. Mobloke could <laughs> catch someone here. Back out. Oh, no, he's been spotted. Yeah, not what they wanted to see there, I don't... Not at all. Seven minutes left on the clock as well, like you said. I mean, the pump, it, it's on. Um, and they're sort it's, of trapped in that bats on. area as well. They haven't quite got the UB yet. They do end up May getting forced really, immediately. really early. Oh, this oh, is going to be a, such a better river for the blue side. They're dropping players, though. They've lost... Oh, they lose f four players before that Uber. This is... <laughs> it is just remorse and Adam, the rest of... That's a salt flashback right are... there. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> um... The rest of Gush's goons are starting to spawn, trying to get in there. They haven't quite been able to hit, like, any damage on Adam yet, so... I, how is Adam still alive? He's still alive. <laughs> what is... What is going on? What is going on? The yeah, soldier like finally able seconds, to make like that one <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, um... <laughs> made big Adam now. Hopefully yeah, she does not get pushed by a scout and die. That would be disastrous. Looks like they're taking this kitchen. They're on scout, really aggressive in kitchen. They're at, at eight. They're only at ninety percent. And made a bit low due to spam. Yuki Ooh. and Ravu though are behind. They're starting up that second cap. They're definitely going to drag oh, those yeah. back. That no, three times is too much. Oh yeah. Oh god. 
So they get the cap, but they do end up dying for it. But that drags them back enough that mm. uh, it's probably going to give the rest of the team enough breathing room to sort of get that uber back. Um, definitely Mate? not able to collect any frags. I think they're losing mid. I don't know. I would assume so. I mean, Mate's at 100% here. They're only 30% for remorse. I think the question is, can they force... Are they... Are red team just going to try to bully this point and not use? Or are they going to go for something here? It looks oh, like, yeah, they're just going to muscle it, I think. They're they were content real with aggressive, the though. I think if they kept that aggression going, they might have been able to collect second with it for free. Uh, uh, uh I don't know. They were pretty is. far back in Saw. No. Yeah, you are, yeah. Alright, calm down. We do actually have uh, Ravu on Sniper, I should mention. Uh, he did hit a headshot uh, in the middle of all the... Um, they pick up one of the soldiers on the side of Gush's goons. So that's actually going to slow it down a little bit. They look like they want to get some counter-aggression in. Remorse using that Uber direct into Spore. They picked up two more players on the uh, the flank side as well. This is looking really good. They get the force out of Remain. It's, uh, uh, it's tragic. Oh, it's, no. Oh, Remorse, and the, the Uber sword, no. <laughs> That is really not what uh, Gushless Goons wanted to see here. Yeah, with only four minutes left on the clock, I mean, like you said, the pump is yeah. definitely on. They sort of have to be winning pretty yeah. much every fight they get into at this point. And to, lo to lose a fight as well in such a convincing fashion, and now you've got to deal with uh, Remorse on 85%. Your mid's on 12. I don't know, they're kind of going to need big individual players here. Yeah, I think there's no way they can do this other than taking a dry mm. fight and losing two right oh, at the start of the fight. Oh, down on 95. Fantastic, but picking up the gorgeous, that's what you want. If they can keep the demo alive here, which is looking great. Uh, they might to stay be alive here. Like, I mean, so they're keeping their medic alive, which is good. They've got big out, but they're just getting pushed out as well. Like, they've, they've been pushed all the way back to their last, and only now they're going to push out. So by the time they get to mid, it's only going to be three minutes on the clock. Like, they need two more rounds to do this. And Adam running through that lower area does end up getting caught out uh, by the soldier. They're going to collect, perhaps. Oh. No, <laughs> does trade. They're going to collect Adam, but it's actually a trade in the picking up <sighs> the soldier. Um, they really got to put the, the pedal in the middle mm -hmm. a little bit, don't they? They need something really big. Something it's either going to fail completely or wipe the whole team, and they're going to take it. They used to kitchen pretty early. Which I don't necessarily hate. They're getting, they've got one kill, they pick up Rabu. They pick up Hipster as well, that's two picks. 70% the Remorse. They need to just steamroll this. They need to just uh, roll this all the way. See if they can pick up the medic here. They got so many players low behind. Mm. They're trying to cap that second point. Looks but like Remorse is going to get the super as well. almost ready to go on Remorse. And Adam, yet again, not going to be taking any damage in the face of the entire team. The Uber comes out, it's looking they're super not any grim. Kills, no deaths so far. Oh, they lose Brownie, one. Brownie, the only one to go dead. The Uber has faded. This is actually as good as it gets for them right here. If they can oh, turn Remorse this one around, they well. pick up Remorse as well. This has to be the fight. They need to win this. Yeah, there's really no other way. They need to pick up Ravu here on the mid. <laughs> Pickaxes down and... They finally got in. They're able to push now. They have huge brad. They have huge brad. They only have to push straight on through. Minute 50 on the clock. I think it's doable. Uh, it's definitely doable. They they just need to not... I think... Let's just see if they win this round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, need to, they need to already be in low. Like, they need to be, they need to be going just because they can. <laughs> Trying to do some hope here, but <laughs> they finally kept the second point. I don't know, man. Pushing straight through lower. The Uber does get you. The sentry gun's only level one. They picked that one up. They have lost a player. The pyro on the point. Looking, uh, looking pretty bad for oh, them. Losing no. two players to the sticky trap, including them. Demi Man goes down. It's just the soldier and a scout. Both of them on minimal health. <laughs> the scout actually having a more or less bail out of that one. Um, and with a minute left on the clock. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, that probably pushes this into impossible territory. For the win, at least. They can definitely still get around. Make it to a three. Yeah, it's like a big tragedy, yeah. Uh, <laughs> nice big fight on the uh, the grass area there. Remorse using the Uber, uh, yeah. 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 However, they are capping the second point since the meantime. You can't commit this late, so I, sorry. Man. No, I can't commit this late. It, it's not going to work. I think we're gonna see. I mean, 
That was a, I feel even though that was three one. That was a really close game. It felt like that was sort of anyone's game. Like at cru a few crucial moments, I feel Gush's goons kind of came up really big, and they won. But well, they won very specific particular fights they needed to win. Yeah, and uh, I do think the round time came into play a little bit there because oh, both teams sure. were fairly push happy. Like, pretty keen to, to mm. make things happen rather than wait it out. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I feel like we didn't really see that game like a, a proper traditional tier 2 TM stalemate.